Good evening, welcome to Sewing the Bourbon and Charlie. Tonight we are going to find out if Blood Oath pack number nine is worth the price. Blood. Blood. Action. Okay, Blood Oath pack number nine. Charlie, tell me a little bit about this bottle. So Blood Oath is the special release from Lux Co or Lux Row mm -hmm. and their master distiller, John E. Rempe. And this is obviously their ninth release. And every year, or actually maybe more than every year, I think it's twice a year now that I think about it. But anyways, he does a special blend of different bourbons mm -hmm. and releases them at 98.6 proof. That's good proof. That's the temperature of your blood. Get it? Blood of blood of. Yeah. So, yeah. Charlie, have you had any of these in the past? I have had a couple blood oaths. Mm -hmm. um, I had the most recent cognac one, and then I had another one, and I cannot remember for the life of me okay. which it was. I think speaking it was pack four. Of, speaking of cognac, mm -hmm. this one has a. Let's say. Well, actually, let's let's tell them what this is. It's a blend, right? It, it is a blend. So of three different bourbons. Yes, it's in. Oaky 16 year old, a luscious 12 year old, and a seven year old finished in Spanish Oloroso sherry casks. So 16, 12, and then a seven finished, which is where we get the sherry cask. So this has some age on yep. it. Yep. Undisclosed source. We don't know where this is from. Maybe yeah, and that's, from one distillery, maybe from three distillers, maybe from two distilleries. And that's the interesting thing, as I was reading a little bit about the Blood Oath, is the master distiller says, I have no allegiances to any distiller. I'm going to find the best bourbon, yeah. regardless of who makes it, where it comes from, and I'm going to blend it and make the best product that I can. And it does say Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, so that tells us that all of these bottles, no MGP in here, this is all from Kentucky. Right. And these are all rye bourbons as well. Yeah, which is a little confusing because it says a rye bourbon. You would assume that means high rye, fifteen percent or more. Could just but mean could be one percent. I mean, yeah. I mean, it says I rye, it. but I wish you know we knew more. But I like rye, so so the big question is: Is it worth the money? Is this a cool release? You know, it comes in a box and all that, and it's a beautiful bottle and the presentation and all that. But it's $120 retail. Secondary, you'll pay 200 plus, depending on the pact. Is it worth it? Let's find out. First thing I notice is it's not very dark for a, for a, yeah. a blend with some pretty aged bourbon. Yeah, I mean, it has a good color to it, but yeah, like not super. Not but it is also 98.6 proof. True. So there's true, quite true, a bit true. of water in it. So, I mean, it, it puts a nice ring around the glass. Yeah, I, I can immediately pick up on the, on the sherry cask. Yeah. Finish. That's really nice. It's got a nice nose to it. There's no alcohol at all. None. And, and it's just that kind of fruity, mm -hmm. you know, that wine, that sherry influence. Interesting. All right, let's get in this. I can't nose it anymore. That's beautiful. Very smooth. There's that word smooth, but that's what it is. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's got a... Man, what is that? Is there, is there a nuttiness? Yeah, almost like a yeah. hazelnut. No, I'm almost getting like almost a hazelnut type of. So the first thing that I get is I am very surprised. It, it, it's a little hot for 98.6 proof. I, I, it, it was a little, I was a little surprised by that, oh. which 98.6 proof is not low proof, but from what we're kind of used to drinking. I don't it, get that it, at all. It, it is a, and maybe it's just me. We're all entitled to our opinion, Glenn. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just but expressing my... flavor-wise, it, it is like a roller coaster of flavor. Um, sweet from the sherry influence. There is a ton of oak character. 
but it it's not just oak it, it's like different oak but it, the really surprising thing for me is on some of the oaky things that we drink that flavor dries up and it, it leaves your your palate like it just dries very quickly this is not that you get that oak flavor and it just lingers there to you know uh, up front I get a lot of like a dark fruit and then I'm getting like a hazelnut. And that's that's odd because I don't that's that's not a note that I usually pick up on. Well, I'm not getting the hazelnut. Are you having a stroke? No, no I'm, I'm not just having kidding. a stroke. But I, I don't get the hazelnut, but I really like this. I I, I think this is a very unique, um, you know, when people have mixed feelings about finished bourbons, we have made our feelings very clear that we enjoy them when they're executed well. And there are a lot of really good finished whiskeys. As there. long as the finish doesn't overwhelm the character, the, the character, yeah, the it, natural if bourbon. You're, if you're flavor. finishing to enhance rather than finishing to hide, this is enhancing the flavor there. It's giving another layer of depth in the flavor of these bourbons. And it's, it's, it's really good. I think it walks the line. It, it, it walks that line. It, it reminds me a little bit of the IW Harper Cabernet cask. It's, I think we're two different animals there. They are two different animals, but I think it's better. Um, but it, it reminds me of that in the sense that the finish is very apparent. And it just kind of tiptoes up to the line of... Okay, of, I, I see what you're... You know I, what I'm saying? Like, I was kinda, wondering how you were going to get there yeah. from the I.W. Harper to the... Um, I don't get a ton of sherry on the palate. It, it's just there. It's just there enough. That kind of sweet wine. Mm -hmm. um, it's very apparent on the nose. I, I really like this. I think this is a really nice, really unique. Um, and every time I sip it, and I've, I've sipped it two or three times now, you kind of get something different. Very long finish um, in all the best ways. But so let me say something and you tell me if you agree with this or not. The finish on this one, most of the time the finish lingers in the back of your mouth. To me, the finish is all up front, in the front of my, of my gums, in the front of my mouth. Yeah, now uh -huh. that you say that, I, it, it, what I have found, at least with me, I mean, it just fills your whole mouth. Like it, it's very, I mean, it's, it's intense, but it's going on the blooper reel. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it as soon as I said it, <laughs> but you know, the, the question is, is this a release worth tracking down? Is this worth the special release money, the 120 bucks or more, depending on where you find it? What are you, what are your thoughts for me? And I don't, I don't mean this negatively. I don't dislike this. For me, it doesn't stand out enough to go and hunt this down and pay $120 for it. Would I pay $60 to $80 for it? Probably. What do you think? I really, I really like this. Is it a $120 bottle? I don't know, but then I go back to be like, well, what isn't in this market? True. Like, I, I don't know if I would go driving around town looking for it, but I'm glad I kind of stumbled upon it. I did. I stumbled upon this in a grocery store and I was like, oh, how much is that? Fully expecting them to be like $200. And they're like, oh, it's $121.99. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play. I'll play for that. Um, you know, I, I like it. I, I would buy it again, I think. If I went back to that grocery store. It, so you don't feel like you, is it worth it? You say yes. Yeah, I, I think I think it's worth it. I think it's complex. I think it's cool. Um, it has the pedigree. It has the, you know, 
Find me something else. No, right? every, find every, me another 16, yeah. 12, and 7 brand. Everything about this bottle in that regard says yeah. uh, absolutely yeah. it's worth $120. Find me something else that has that pedigree and that those stats that's under $150. Bucks. So let me approach it from this standpoint. Now that I've had it, would I go out and buy it for $120? Probably not. If I had bought it, like you have, and paid $120 for it and we just tried it, would I feel any remorse about it? Mm. No. I wouldn't. There you go. And there you go for, you know, we've completely dodged the question. <laughs> the question. Let's write it. Uh, okay, I'll write it. Um, it's a uh, 7.625. I'll give it a 7. I was guessing he was going to give it a 7. I, listen, I think it's good. I think it's complex. One thing that I like about Finnish bourbons is they will often change flavor yeah. and yep. profile and open mm -hmm. up a little bit after they've been opened. So I'll probably enjoy another pour out of that bottle this evening, get a little more oxygen in there and revisit in a while. And it may make another great 60 second bourbon review. Fair so. enough. All right, Charlie, let's wrap this up. Wrap it. Like and subscribe. Tell them what to do. You tell them what to do. Last time I messed it up. Keep your pockets loose <laughs> and your bung holes tight. He messed it up this time. Good night, everybody. It's got real blood in it, so you know it's That good. would be cool. That would be a... That would not be cool. No, that would be a great uh, selling point. For you, certain, you certain demographic. Hi? <laughs> this is, Did you get any on you? Nope. This is... <laughs> oh, look at that. <clears throat> ah. okay. Okay. I'm not talking in this episode. <laughs> that stuck. What are you looking for? Cashews. There. You just said move them. Let's get physical. She's dead. Ow. Let me shouldn't, body talk. Shouldn't hit body that. talk. Stop it. <laughs> it's like a little fetus. A little what? Fetus. I've never. Why would you? Because it's shaped like a fetus. It's not. It really isn't. Ready, Blood Oath, take 98.6, action.